All right, so just a bed part here. Um, so one thing that I'm like always thinking about is um, people are like, in regards to cryptocurrency and investing. So this would apply to stocks and everything too. But um, you know, I'm just kind of like big on crypto right now. Um, but uh, how do I know when to buy and when to sell? Because we know that you wanna buy low so high so how do we know when to buy i mean it's pretty simple we actually don't know um because hindsight is 2020 in my opinion you might think that you know that the price is low but you don't know and you might think that you know when the price is high you don't know because you could sell and it just keeps going higher and higher and higher and now you just gave up your shares or your coins or your whatever um universally stocks and crypto are like 50 50 100 it's 50 50 it's never going to be any better than that um because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Anything could happen. Absolutely anything. And uh, there's just no way to predict. Um, so when do you buy? Right now. That's my opinion. Just do it. Um, if you're worried about what tomorrow might bring... Put in 50%, put in 25% of what you might put in, you know, split your investment. If you have 100 bucks, buy 25 today, buy 25 tomorrow or next week, buy 25 next month. I don't know, just do it. Cut dollar cost average. And uh, when do you sell? In my opinion, never. Don't ever do it. Just hold it. Um... I mean, universally, I mean, in the long run, pretty much everything is going up. You know, it might go down tomorrow, might go down next week or next month, maybe even next year. But in 10, 15, 20 years, everything's going up. So just never sell. That's my opinion anyway. Um, you know, when you invest your money... Um, you know, I think the biggest key phrase is accumulation, accumulation of assets. You're just collecting, like baseball cards. Like when you buy a stock or a crypto coin, just pretend you just bought it and, you know, you don't go buy baseball cards expecting to like sell it. Well, maybe some people do, I don't know. You don't buy a baseball card and sell it tomorrow or next week you know it's like it's just gone you spent the money it's gone just pretend you didn't even do it and just and then the other thing i see people do is they get like i don't know they they're like oh i want to buy this oh no i want to buy that so they sell this and you know they trade the money that they made for that it's like no don't do that you're just washing money over and over and over and the more you do that i guarantee you're losing money you're paying fees you're paying taxes. People don't realize all that. It's all a wash. You can't just like buy something and then swap it out for something else. It doesn't work that way. That's not an investment. Buy. And if you find a better idea, you know, just forgot, forget that you bought that thing and then go work and make some money and buy the other thing. And then when you get another idea, forget about that thing and go buy another thing. So... That, that's my opinion. Just buy everything as much as you can. Don't ever sell. Don't worry about what it's doing. And then just like delete your app or your account or whatever. You know, don't look at it every day. Look at it like once a year, you know. How often do you look at your like 401k or your Roth IRA? You like barely ever look at it. You look at it like once a year and all you know is it goes up. Well, guess what? Crypto, 
stocks, all of it just goes up. You know, and when you get in the habit of like selling and trading and swapping and all that, I mean, you're just digging yourself into a hole. And yeah, that's my opinion. So.